Well, Hellfire, this is Rock the Riff, and I am back for another Metalhead and Envy. And I guess I am going to finish out the new songs from Metallica. I don't know if they're going to release any more before the album release, which is... When is this album release? Gotta look that shit up, man. Gotta look that shit up. Oh, so Friday. This will my video, my reaction will already be out by the time it uh the album will be out by the time my video comes out. So uh let's dive on in. Which I think so far Lux Eternal was I liked it the most. I'm still not like the new metallic it's hard to be old school Metallica, but there and again, the new Metallica is cool too. It's just, it's just different. Yeah. So far, it's like a solar eclipse. Solar flare. gotta give it to Metallica man there's something about this tempo here they do it a lot nowadays and they've mastered it <laughs> like it's still this is the first piece of music I'm listening to all before I start my day and it's already like made me happy I'm already like yeah let's get this day started bro I'm, I'm actually I'm filming this like literally I've got an hour before I gotta go to work and so this is gonna put a little pep in my step before I go into the job. That hi-hat has such a, a sound to it. Like, I'm gonna have to talk to my drummer in my band and be like, what's going on with this hi-hat? Like the velocity of that hi-hat has stayed the same. It's more noticeable. It's kind of, kind of funny. This shit, man. 
This might be the best song of the three. Is it three or four singles that they've released? Don't quote me on that. I'm I'm the world's worst for trying to remember because I have like since I started my channel and I've been doing this a lot. I'm listening to even more music than I was in the past, and so my brain I'm kind of a dumb dumb. I'm a, I'm actually really big dumb. Uh, according to some here, Southern Ass Clown. <laughs> Which I have that as a merch t-shirt. If you think that's good, go check it out. But uh, this, I think, to me, this is the third single or whatever. Uh, whatever you want to call it. I am digging this the most so far. I hope, Kirk, I hope we get a killer fresh solo from Kirk. I think that's the only thing that's going to actually set set this over the top for me james you're the mvp brother james and robert man yeah dude that wah works perfect for this Also, I gotta say, this is the coolest music video of the three as well. I like the fact that we do have all the abstract art. I think I said in the last one that it was a bit, that music video was a bit too artistic for me because you could barely see the band. But this was a perfect blend. I'm seeing them clearly, but then I'm also getting all these visuals. I want to know what kind of, like, are they on a stage? And is this set up like, I know there's a new thing, like the Mandalorian has kind of made it a little popular Popular about these these 360 sets, where it's like where you're looking and where you're moving, it's, it's projecting a certain image around you and stuff. I'm curious if that's kind of in the ballpark of what's going on with this. Or are these just like big ass LEDs or some shit? That's, that would be the biggest widest LEDs if that's the case but it's fucking cool I really do dig this music video yeah oh that's cool my redneck ass hasn't never been somewhere to see a lot of this kind of stuff <laughs>
okay. That was pretty cool, Solo. Uh, I want to make the argument that I've heard Kurt do crazier stuff. And that that did have a lot of like... That was definitely a lot of Kirk's normal chops. But it worked for the song. It, it really did work for the song. And uh, I can get behind that. I guess it's more of the guitarist in me wanting to hear Kirk push the boundaries when he when he gets a chance to do a solo. But uh, there and again, it is what it is. I get it to a certain extent too because it's like... It's like when I write solos in my own band, I want to write stuff that like pushes me to a certain extent, but I'm also like, and people might hate on me for doing this, but I factor in like when I got to play this live on stage, I want to be cool and I want to do crazy cool stuff, but then I know how I am when I play live and my nerves, I get so fucking nervous when I'm playing live that I shake like that. So if I write, it's like, you'd have to ask other guitarists as well if they feel the same. It's like, you want to write something crazy cool, something that really fits the song, but you also don't want to write yourself into a hole. You don't want to write something so crazy complicated that you only nailed it right 100% of the time in the studio. Or uh, that don't even make no sense. You don't want to write something that to where you could only you only nail it that one time in the studio, but then after that, every time you try to play the same solo live, you're missing a note here and there and there and there. I like to write something that it's like my last solo I did for the last song we recorded. I literally worked on that thing for months and months and months and months and months, and I finally got it right before we went in the studio. I literally got it. And impressed my guitarist that I work with like the month before we went and recorded it. And now when I play it live, I, I can do I can do it. I'd, I'd, I'd say that my nerves only get me to where I hit that solo like 99.9% .9 of the time. I get it right. One of, or I get it. <laughs> I get it right there on the money. If that makes any sense, I might sound fucking dumb as hell saying all this shit. And other guitarists or musicians that check out my channel and listen to the, the shit I say sometimes, they'd have to leave me a comment let me know what their thoughts are too. But, uh, back to Kirk solo. That was cool. I'm not going to sit here and go, yo, that's the coolest guitar solo I've ever heard, but I'm not going to sit here and say, Kirk, your solo sucked. It was, it was really cool. It fit the track. This little breakdown section. Okay, Metallica, man, 72 seasons. So yeah, by the time this releases on my channel, the album should be out. Uh, I hope people check 
this out and leave me some comments. Let me know how the album is. Uh, I know I probably won't have went through it by that 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 time. But I enjoyed the fuck out of that. I really did enjoy that song. I liked Lux Eternal, the second single. I can't even remember what the name of it was. I didn't, it didn't hit, uh, oh shit, there's four songs in total. So I have not checked out If Darkness Had a Sun. I knew I was, when I was sitting there saying three songs, I knew I was missing one. I'm a fucking idiot. But Screaming Suicide didn't really click with me that much. Uh, but 72 Seasons is badass. I got to I got to say I like 72 Seasons the most out of what I've heard. Uh Lux Eternal was pretty cool too. I like the chorus of Lux Eternal. I don't know why, but James going Lux Eternal like it just it clicked with me. I was wondering if this was the song that they had put up. They had done a big ass TikTok thing about this where they were getting people to they were asking people to duet with them. So maybe uh if Darkness had a son is the song that was on TikTok. Because that didn't sound like the clips I had heard before. But yeah, that was that was slick, man. Metallica, fucking kudos to you for still putting out albums. And I would still love to have a beer with you guys and pick your brain about certain things. I mean, being a struggling artist myself, uh, I look up to you guys that have that have been doing it for so long and in the spotlight for so long and how y'all figured it out. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I think part of me is like nowadays you got to have a lot of money to throw into promotion. I think that's like the biggest, one of the biggest aids you could have. I don't think, I mean, I'd make the statement that talent no longer is enough because I know plenty of talented people that are still just struggling. And then I hear a lot of music nowadays that to me is just, there's no talent in it, but there and again, music is opinionated. What I like and what somebody else's likes can be two different things. What I dislike and all that. I mean, vice versa. It's, it's, it's a world full of crazy good music. And then there is some, uh, some chaff out there, <laughs> which I don't like to do. I don't, I don't know. I'm part of, I'm part of me is also like anybody willing to write music and put it out there. There's a, there's a certain level of respect I already have to begin with, if that makes sense. But if this ends up being, oh my God, my nose. Y'all ever get an itch like this? It's like literally I could take a pick and just up in my nose. Um, if this ends up being your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me some pros and cons. Uh, give me some song suggestions. It doesn't have to be Metallica. It could be another Metallica song. Uh, I know most Metallica songs. I've been a fan of them for a long, long time. Uh, but either way, I'm always trying to listen to music across the world and uh, increase my palette and draw influence from all kinds of artists for my own music and everything. Uh, but yeah, so stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.